Hi everyone, Trevor here. Today I'm going to go over how to set up and configure WireGuard in PFSense. I've already installed WireGuard from the packages that are available in PFSense. So we want to go to VPN WireGuard. We want to create a tunnel. I'm just going to give the tunnel description so this is uh wire guard vpn and i'm actually going to set my listening port to 51822 by default wireguard has a port default of 51820 i'm going to generate a private and public key and for the interface addresses I'm going to put it over 24 I just have a small network that I'm going to use for doing the VPN so it's going to be 10.0 12 sorry 22.0 over 24 and this is the VPN client network and then we're going to save the tunnel don't forget to apply your changes so now we're going to make a peer the thing about making a peer is you need the public key from the WireGuard client that you're going to be using. So we're going to be using a WireGuard client on Windows to get the public key. I have here a laptop. I have downloaded the WireGuard installer and we will get it installed. So with WireGuard, you can add an empty tunnel or you can import from a pre-made file. We're going to add an empty tunnel. I've just found it easier to work with. With that being said, I think we're going to actually show you that you can download the configuration from the server. So we'll just go back to our server here for a minute. If you go to tunnels, if you hit that little download, it'll download a little config file. And I'm gonna want to rename it something. So I'm gonna call it and if we open this up we see we have the description interface the private key and the port so we're gonna have to make a lot more changes to this file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it onto a USB key and put it on the client so something to note when you're going to add a peer is you need the public key from the WireGuard VPN client like I had mentioned before in the beginning of the video. So we're going to go ahead and get a peer set up. And I'm going to go to peers. I'm going to add a new peer. Assign the tunnel. Call this WireGuard VPN user. I want a dynamic endpoint, then the user can use it from wherever. I'm going to generate a new pre shared key. 
And here I'm going to assign the IP address for the client. So we're going to go dot three. And we're going to leave it over 32. And here we need to get a public key. So to do that, we need to generate that on our client side. So I'm going to go add empty tunnel. And now I have a private key. I'm going to call this VPN test. I don't think it likes spaces. There we go. Now, why did I save that? I need to get that public key. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to grab the public key. Now I'm going to switch back to our PFSense firewall and paste that public key into the peer configuration. And then we save our peer. So now we have our client that connects to our tunnel. Now we have a little bit of work to do here. So here I have a configuration. Now this configuration template I will have available on my blog optionkey.blogspot.ca for you to grab and post so you can just copy and paste the configuration which is I find the easiest thing to do. So I need to grab the public key for the tunnel and I need to put that into the config. And I also need the private key for the interface. So let's paste the public key. Then we'll put the private key and we'll have to put the shared key from the server. which is under peer. Copy that. Which goes into there. And then we have our networks that we want access to, the IP and the port. And here for the interface, the private key which again is on our WireGuard client on our Windows machine. Then I'm gonna copy all this and I'm gonna put it into here. I'm going to save it. And then, now that I have my peer configured, I have to make sure I have firewall set up. So here's our WireGuard interface. I'm going to add a pass all rule and on our WAN I'm going to add a new rule to pass anything that comes into the WAN on our WireGuard ports 51822 make sure that it passes. I'm 
And then I'm going to move this up. And I'm going to save. Okay, so now we're going to connect WireGuard. Activating. Says our tunnel is activated. We have bytes received and bytes sent. And you can see here, in our status, we have a good connection. And now, just to show that we can connect to the network, we'll just ping the gateway. Oh, you know what? I just noticed that the firewall doesn't have UDP packets to be forwarded. So I'm just going to fix that. There we go. Now let's see here what happens if I ping our gateway. There we go. Now we have full access to our VPN. We can access everything on our network and every life is good. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.